first of all, let me just make a statement uh, thanking uh, the conference office for the great job that they did throughout this entire expansion process. Uh, all of you know it started last year, and I think our commissioner and the staff and the conference did a marvelous job of providing guidance throughout this, this process to, one, get Nebraska into the league, and then giving us leadership most recently uh, in the integration and transition uh, towards the divisions and the schedules. So let me thank them. Uh, let me also thank my colleagues, the other ADs. Uh, we had very sensitive discussions about a number of issues, but of course the divisions and the scheduling uh, were very sensitive dis discussions and uh, the collegiality, uh, the coming together and focusing on what was best for the conference uh, was, a, was a great experience for me and I really appreciate uh, how they came to the table to help us get to where we are. And lastly, let me thank uh, the fans. Uh, I received uh, numerous emails. I don't know how many. I'm sure that the media will end up telling you after they request my emails. Uh, but it was, uh, it was great feedback, and I really appreciate it. Uh, very uh, rational, uh, well thought out. Uh, it provided me with great input uh, as I went into our discussions, frankly, this morning. Uh, and then also it reaffirmed, uh, frankly, what some of us already knew. So thank you uh, so much for that. Never that close. Today was the first time we saw schedules. Uh, we had our last meeting uh, last Monday in person, uh, and we asked the conference office to prepare schedules for us to look at. We only looked at one set of schedules today, uh, and it had that game at the end. Uh, Dave Brandon and I did talk a couple of times throughout the week after I was getting emails, he was getting emails, and we talked about some of the things we saw and heard, and we did call the conference office and share that we would prefer that that game be at the end, not knowing which way they were going. Uh, so at, it, we were blessed today that it, uh, when it came up on the webinar, we were on one of those webinar deals, and the, and the commissioner laid it out, then it came up on the webinar, we had discussions, I'd say the conference call was about an hour, uh, and we had discussions on a number of issues, and uh, then we voted, and it was unanimous. I have my bullet points on the side. So I have my bullet points on the side. And I feel confident, frankly, going into the call that it would be at the end based upon our conversations Dave and I had with the conference office. So I felt pretty good going in. Didn't know what our colleagues would bring up, which, you know, fortunately they, they supported that. Uh, so, but I did have my bullet points on the side. Some of them came from the emails that I was blessed to receive. It was the quantifiable, practical, well thought out stuff. And frankly, one of your articles had a little bullet point I stole from Doug, good job. So it was, uh, you know, I used a, a lot of different things that I would have used a lot of different things had I got to that point. But I was pretty confident going in I wouldn't get there. Probably did a little bit, Bob. I can't imagine that it didn't. You know, um, you know, the conference office received probably half the emails that we got, and um, you know, they were copied on. Uh, you know, I've all I've always said we have to listen to our customers, and we did that. I'm sure the conference office did that. Uh, so I believe it did. It's great. It's awesome. Actually, I, I was hoping they'd be here in the first year. I was getting kind of excited about playing Colorado, who's going to the Pac-10 from the Big 12, and Nebraska, who's coming to us from the Big 12. And that would have been kind of cool, but it didn't happen. But uh, So I'm, I'm excited about going to Lincoln. Uh, if any of you have been to Lincoln, any of our fans have been to Lincoln, uh, the fans are just great there. Uh, they're, they're very uh, they're genuinely kind fans. And, you know, Obviously, they're going to get after us when we're playing, but they're very hospitable, hospitable great sportsmanship. So. A great place to go, and then when they come here, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Uh, so it, uh, I feel good about playing them the first two years. Not really. We didn't discuss that today that much. I mean, it was like one comment, and we moved on. Uh, I think, uh, you know, it, it didn't seem to be a big issue. You know, you wrote it in your article. I mean, it's the, when you look at the history of it since 1993, it would have only happened maybe once or twice. So you shouldn't determine your long-term future based upon those type of ratios. And uh, so we didn't discuss it a whole lot. If, we, if that ends up that way, it'll be exciting. It'll be new, it'll be exciting. And if you look at the Southeastern Conference, Big 12, you know, over time, how often has it happened? So 
you know, if it, if it gets that way, then, you know, we will be happy to take that on. From Jump Street, day one. Uh, Michigan really wanted it and we wanted it. We thought it would be kind of cool uh, for them to win the division and us be playing. And now at that time, keep in mind, we were, uh, had not talked about schedules, had not talked about the end. We had said that it could be possible that it would be in no a November date, not the end. But we hadn't made any decisions. But at the same time, we said, you know, wouldn't that be kind of cool? And so um, when you look at that time when we talked about it, we also, and this is prior to you writing your article, uh, we also figured if that did happen, it wouldn't happen that often where we'd play again. So we just kind of thought it would be great to have that that way. We're one of the few that were not supportive of the open date. I think everybody knows that. So we, we prefer to play all of our games back to back. So when that vote was made, we were one of the schools that preferred to stay off of that weekend. Uh, but I don't, think our, I don't think we'll go back to that. To me, it makes perfect sense to play them all in before Thanksgiving, have it in two weeks. But I don't, too many of my colleagues like the open date. And, and I understand that, I respect that. And, and so I, and I support that because they feel it's important. You know, I, I wouldn't use the word toxic, Rusty. I mean, there, oh, there was one guy today who was toxic, and I, I, said, I didn't know what he read. But anyway, um, that, was a, he, that was interesting. No, he shot me an email, email and it was maybe nine words. His first name was Zach. I forgot his last name. But anyway, um, I was like, I, I called my guy Ben. I said, what they're tweeting out there, man, because I missed that one. But anyway, um, you know, it, it was um, nobody was mean spirited. And uh, um, there were no, it wasn't talk, it was all well thought out. I mean, I think when those of you who requested the emails, when you see them, uh, you'll be surprised that, you know, there are people that wrote division, made divisions, they wrote why, how, why they felt the division should be this way, they had historical knowledge, I mean, they had, one guy had an outline and with, with bullet points, I mean, it was, it was like dissertation papers for some of these people, and it was great, and so, and I read them all. I think I responded with maybe 90% of them, I couldn't get to all of them, uh, but it was, it was good information.